Welcome to the Focus First YouTube tutorials. My name is Jonathan DeLeon and I'm the Business Development Manager at Focus First as well as your guide today. In this video, we're going to go over how to locate your MLS export file and upload that data into the software so that you can create beautiful graphs. So let's jump into it. When it comes to uploading your export files into the Focus First pricing software, it's relatively easy to do. To upload your first export of your pricing search, you click the Start Here button located in the top left of the program. When you first use this program, it will open up this window asking you what MLS you're using. In this case, I am using the Northern Colorado MLS, so I can select that in here. Now, if you use one MLS regularly and that's all you use, you can go ahead and click this box here saying that you don't need to use multiple MLSs. However, if you do use multiple, maybe you don't lock that in for now. You can always reset it if you end up changing and that's done very easily under the settings tab. But for now, I'm gonna click okay. And this will open up the window to find my uh, export file. Now, in most cases, when you export from your MLS, it will automatically go to your download folder. So looking here, you can see I have a couple different export files. Yours might look more like this when you open it, which can look a little bit confusing, but it usually it always is labeled export something. So if it looks kind of different, you can always click on the name tab to get it in alphabetical order, and here we have export. Clicking here and clicking open will then load it into the program. Now it'll open up this first window asking you what you want to call this subdivision or neighborhood. And once you've put that information in and click done, then the program automatically creates your neighborhood patterns for you. And there you have it, you've uploaded your pricing search. Now after you find your competitive price range using the scattergram, and now you've done another search for your positioning information, what you do here is click this Upload POS, which is short for Positioning Data button. Click this and open up the exact same window that you saw last time with the Start Here button. In this case, looking for the price range information that I exported. Click OK. It will ask you again. In this one, we recommend you go ahead and put that price range, whether you shorthand like I'm doing here, or with a dollar sign spelled all the way out. That way it prints correctly on the graph and you know what you're looking at. Click done here. And then now that information is in the program for you. Simple as that. Your pond is created automatically, ready to go, as well as a defa default positioning scattergram uh, based on just default settings. So that's all it takes to upload your information into the program. Now one thing to note, when you upload this positioning data, it does not overwrite the pricing data you had earlier. So your patterns here, as well as your scattergram, are still in place from the pricing information. That way, you can do your full CMA step-by-step step without overriding anything. Hopefully this video helped you learn the Focus First pricing tool. If you want to see more videos like this and additional videos we release, make sure you subscribe to our Focus First YouTube channel. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time.